Hello and welcome back to All Things Considered, where we like to talk about living with intent and making well-considered decisions in all aspects of our daily lives. Today, I'll be talking about my EDC, which I put together in the past two years, and I'll be walking you through the hows and whys for each item. Let's jump in. So for the uninitiated, EDC stands for Everyday Carry, which is basically a small collection of items that you carry with you on a regular basis, be it in your pockets, your sling bag, or your backpack. Now the term EDC may be relatively new and I have no idea who coined the term first, but it isn't a new thing at all. People have been carrying stuff like this since the dawn of mankind. At some point, one of the hunter-gatherers got clever. Let's call him Ugg, and so Ugg thinks to himself, maybe I could take more tools if I had some kind of pouch attached to my loincloth. I can carry my favorite sharp rock so I wouldn't have to find one when I have to skin an animal that I just speared out in the wild. And so Ugg walks out of his cave and everyone in the tribe was like, whoa, look at Ugg, he's got something dangling from his loincloth, besides his balls. What is that thing, Ugg? And the rest is history, but that's innovation right there. And the important thing in that story is that this was Ugg's special rock which he needed for a job. He chose this rock for a specific purpose and he chose to carry it because he might catch an animal that day. He wasn't sure he was going to catch one, but he was prepared for it. And that's the whole point of EDC. Back in January of 2020, after decades of being dormant, Taal Volcano decided to erupt. And I live quite close, about 40 kilometers from the crater. I remember all I had on me when I found out what was going on was my cell phone and my wallet. To be honest, I felt ashamed, suddenly realizing that if things got much worse, I wasn't equipped to fend for my family. Now this is an extreme example, I'm sure most people get into EDC in a much more placid manner, but this is how it happened for me, and from that point on, I've been carrying my little kit which I will now show you without further ado. First off is my wallet. Of course everybody carries some form of wallet to hold cash and cards, and I've been using this thing, the Summit Wallet from a company called Travax in the US. I've gone through a few leather wallets that I used until they were literally falling apart and I just figured I would try something sturdier and simpler and I found this online and it really doesn't get much simpler than this. Just a solid piece of metal with a nylon strap to hold your cards and a couple of bills. It has a minimalist look and because it has no extra slots, it kind of forces you to not collect any of those receipts and odd expired cards. I added a bit of paracord right here to make it easier to fish out of deeper pockets. By the way, this isn't sponsored by Trayvax in any way, but I will link up to it in the description below if you're interested. Next up is my watch, and I've been wearing this one for about a year. This is the G-Shock GA151A. Not one of the more popular designs, but being a G-Shock, it does feature the same durability and shock resistance. I purchased this during a trip to Tokyo from Yodobashi Camera in Akihabara, so it has some sentimental value to it, being the last vacation we had before the pandemic took a turn for the worse. I do wish the illumination was a little brighter, and maybe they could have made the hands and hour markers glow in the dark. Anyway, don't even bother looking for this exact colorway because I've actually painted the brown here myself. I wanted to color match it to the rest of my EDC, so let me know in the comments below if you'd like to know how I did that. Moving on, I've also been carrying this, a small flashlight. This is the Lumintop Tool AA 2.0, but don't be fooled by the small size, this thing gets plenty bright. It has four brightness settings all the way up to 650 lumens, a strobe mode so you can use it for a night run or a bike ride, a clicky button on the back end, and a reversible pocket clip. It's powered by either a AA battery, as the name suggests, or one of these, a 14500 lithium battery which lets you achieve the max brightness capabilities. It also came with a diffuser so you can use it as a nightlight on the low setting and it should last the entire night. As you can see, I've been putting it to good use and I did attempt to color this the same way I did with my watch with not so great results, but yeah, I do love this thing. Now this item I don't always carry with me for obvious reasons, but when I can, I do, and that is a pocket knife. I've been carrying a Coyote Brown Rat 2 from the Ontario Knife Company. It has a D2 steel blade which earned it the nickname R2D2 among knife hobbyists, and this type of steel is supposed to be tougher than regular tool steel and should retain its edge longer. However, I'm no expert and I've only ever used it for light work, so I can't attest to anything. 
That said, I haven't found the need to sharpen it since I got it. It has a reversible pocket clip and I also added this snake knot to make it easier to pull out of my pocket. 99% of the time, this is just used to open packages and I don't carry this on me to places where it isn't allowed like the office for example, in which case it just stays in the car. I know one of the first things that comes to mind is for self-defense but no, I highly discourage pulling out a knife if you're feeling threatened as it can get you into more trouble, especially if you don't even have proper self-defense training using a knife, you could end up hurting yourself or other people nearby. If your assailant gets a hold of it, then you'll be in an even worse position. So yeah, be responsible when carrying a knife, it's not a toy or for showing off. So what's it for then? Well, this gives me peace of mind that in the event of a catastrophe, I have a better alternative to my teeth or my fingernails if I need to cut something. Another staple, and this is the biggest item I carry 100% of the time these days, is a water bottle. And I've been liking my 20 ounce Camelback shoot. This is the insulated version, there is also a Tritan version which is naturally lighter than this. But as I like to keep my water cold and I keep this inside my bag most of the time, I don't want it sweating all over my other things. A unique feature of this is a magnetic cap that holds in place so it doesn't smack into your eye every time you're drinking. Also, this whole pop end comes off for easy cleaning and the big handle here makes it easy to grab out of a water bottle pocket or clip to pretty much anything with the help of a carabiner. Other stuff I carry on the regular are my phone, a mask, some hand sanitizer, and of course all of this wouldn't fit in my pocket so I usually carry a sling bag. I have a couple slings that we'll get into in another video but for today I'll show you this one from JLB which is a Philippine based maker of quality bags and accessories. What I have here is their 3 liter day sling in 500D Cordura fabric and I've had this for approximately 2 years and it's held up pretty well. The outer fabric is abrasion and water resistant. YKK AquaGuard zippers all around and it has some pocketing though they don't hold their shape too well. So whatever you stick in here just gets jumbled up as you go. I'm hoping they make improvements in pocketing for succeeding releases. And there you have it, my EDC for 2021. Now I wouldn't call any of this stuff essential, but it does give me the peace of mind knowing that having a few simple tools improves my chances of survival in the event of a calamity. If you're interested in some of the items mentioned in the video, I'll put links in the description and some of these may be affiliate links that help support the channel at no additional cost to you. Until next time, this has been Paolo for All Things Considered. Have a good day.